Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Baldur's Gate. Greetings, little ones. You have the look of experienced travelers, and you, Lo Wang, look to be a fine warrior. My name is Melo. I'm the Sword Coast's most skilled swordsman. You may have heard of my name. I'm quite famous, after all. If are you such a good swordsman, why are you wandering about the wilderness dressed in what amounts to rags? Are you insulting me? You'd better not dare insult me, or I'll show you the metal of my blade. Once I've drawn my sword, I'm honor-bound to wet the blade. Well, why don't you draw your sword then so we can see who is better swordsman, you or me? <laughs> now nah, you've done it. You're going to be sorry for doubting my skill, you Asian twat. So very sorry. We'll see about that. You are tiny grasshopper. Thank you for yet yet another pair of gauntlets of expertise. I will be selling those at the local IKEA. They're gonna drag you under when I'm done. He's driving me mad. Oh, please make it stop. Please make him stop screaming. Ah, shut it up. What's wrong, lady? Why are you driving you to madness? Lady, if you want help, you're gonna have to calm down. He's in my head. I won't be quiet. He just keeps on whispering and whispering. You see this jar? Do you see it? We see the jar, lady. Now calm down. Tell Lo Wang what's happening. My companions and I, we explored the fire wine ruins and we found, we found this jar. It, it drove them all mad. They hacked and they caught in blood, so much blood. They're all dead now, and I'm only left. The voice tells me to say the name, but if I say the name, it promises great rewards. But I won't, I won't. What do you want Lo Wang to do, lady? How can I help you? Poor Casa cannot be helped. You can't help Casa. You must run and run fast. Soon Casa will not be able to resist. Soon Casa will say the name. Then it will come and there will be blood. My blood and your blood. Just give us jaw, Casa. We'll know what to do with it. Don't worry. No, Casa will not give the jaw. The jaw is Casa's and hers alone. Get away! Get away or Casa will say the name and we will all die. Give us the jaw now, bitch! Give it to us! You can't take the jaw from me. It's mine. Mine! Stay away or I'll say the name. Stay away. Lo Wing is going to take this jaw from you whether you like it or not. No! Karak! Almighty Karak! <laughs> I am free at last, mortals. Before you die, know that you have pleased Karak, mightiest of the Ogre Magi. Your death shall feed my power. For now, I am weak. Bitch got held. You got held up, son.
Oh, fucking shit. You fucking nimble dick son of a bitch. For you. I'm glad you're fucking retarded. You look like a stupid. You got the low wings of motor running now. I need some more potions to heal. Knocked out. You are tiny glass. Pain is for the weak. God damn it, why do I keep opening that? Fucking container. It is good day to die. Oh, you goddamn cunt of a mother. You look like a stupid. Who get the list? Haha. <laughs> oh, that's fucking bullshit. He just goes right through it. God damn, am I fucking retarded or what? Just like Hiroshima.
Fucking spells. Pain. It is good day to die. Oh, you. Alright. This time I healed up. And I added remove magic. Or dispel. Dispel magic, because I want to see how effective it is. And I think I'm going to summon some more fodder, because this guy's pretty tough. Just like Hiroshima. <laughs> oh! Well, you're fucked because you ain't got your magic anymore. Time to get erased! <laughs> Fuck this, I'm just gonna bum rush him now. You got the low wings of motor running now! Now he's going to start using magic missiles, so let me go ahead and put that shield on. And now I'm going to fucking kill you. Just like Hiroshima. Ugh, finally got that son of a Time bitch. To get erased. <laughs> and he doesn't have jack shit. Just the pleasure of killing his ass.
I need to sell some shit. Naughty fellow, my friends. A fine day, is it not? It was not always so serene in these parts, though, as you can no doubt discern from the ruins about us all. Tragic loss to the era it was, some three hundred years past. I have tales, though, tales of heroes and villains that come and gone amidst the stones since the prosperous time. Could I entreat your ears to hear one? It is an epic I've been working on for some time, based on the rumors I hear and the strange things I see in my dreams at night. Would you care for a story this eve? Aye! It would be a fine time to hear your tale. Sing on, young bard. Wonderful. Stand relaxed and I shall relate it to you. A poetic treatise I should like to call the Knights of Days Hence. Eh, I know the title needs work, but the soul of the piece is right and true. I have a tale, a tale to tell of notes. Knights so bold in dungeon hell and slumber broke upon the shore of nightmare's reef when dawn no more. A story true of courage lack, and footing lost on virtue's track, and trailing far but near to fear, a vengeance scream through night to ear. The swordmen came by two and four to take their fight to evil's core, with confidence in might and right, went bravely forward spreading light. But light alone canst clear the path, when suffers all a hellish wrath, from deep below whence fires came, still none above dare speak the name. Together fought, together fell, till good had won through stories tell, the cursed tale of treachery, when evil stole the victory. Heroes bold betrayed beyond, with friend made foe, with gold in mind, to take the plunder riches won, twas evil knew, though old undone. In glory slept the hero's knight, but knife to throat did snuff the light. Behind their eyes a simple deed, t'was honor deed as killed by greed. Now leave me alone whilst I smoke some weed. Strong enough to break a vow, your mom is fat like an ugly cow. Alone with gold he struggled now to leave his dungeon, deed and hide. Alone he fell and alone he died. Windows weep and orphans cry, and bards off sing as maidens sigh, for want the heroes lost below. Your mom, she's a dirty slut and a hoe, and that haunt and sleep with a ghostly glow. O oh God, the God eternal stand, your mom's a man, your mom's a man, though neither see nor sense the land, before their eyes, beyond their age, they wait with unbelieving rage. When one for all turns fall for one, the injured souls take solace none, and thus release so stand they will. It's the game, hold a bitch, so fucking chill! Together enter, together fall, tis as the vow agreed by all, and all must stand and wait in time for one that ran to face the crime. I've not been, but have been told of nights of days gone, past so bold to warrant heartfelt prayers from thee, that rogue's return might set them free. A oh, rousing tale. Please take this ten gold that I might finance your future travels. You are certainly too kind. A very good day to you and your travels. Good. Can I get out of here now, please? Don't have time to hear this shit. Who wants us some wine? You want us some wine? Fucking annoying. Alright, time to return to Gullikin. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! You got the low wings of motor running now! Hi, friend. Oh there, I'm Benton, most devout follower of the great Broken Imata. I wonder if any of you follow the path of the Crying God. No, Lo Wang don't worship Imata. So none of you venerate Imata. Well then, we must rectify this at once. Listen closely while I tell you the wonders that will come once you've converted to Imata's faith. As you've probably heard, Imata is a god of suffering. Most people immediately perceive this as the suffering of one must endure themselves, but trust me. The stories you have heard are most likely wild and unrealistic. Suffering in the service of Mil Matra does eventually come, but lo, it is the most joyful of sensations and opens your eyes to wisdom. Once you have suffered in the service of Mil Matra, you will have your eyes open to the evils of the world, evils such as avarice, greed, lust, perversity, and most especially, magic. By magic I mean not the holy power granted by Mil but rather the wicked power wielded by sorcerers. Excuse me, but Lo Wang is a magic user. You are a sorcerer, by all good and holy, you must stop your evil way. Magic only leads to pain and misery. It is a wicked art, I tell you, a wicked art. Though I find it painful to, painful to stand in presence of such vile necromancers, I will continue my sermon. All you have to do is become a faithful of Vilmata, is to cast off your worldly possessions. You will wander the world and suffer in place of others. You will spread the word as I have spread it to you. Well, what do you think? Will you cast off your possessions and become a faithful of Vilmata? Sorry, old man. Lo Wang got better things to do. You are foolish enough in your decisions. Your mind's obviously clouded by the numerous vices all of you must engage in. I pity the whole lot of you. Goodbye. Goodbye! Go fuck yourself! Lo Wang don't want to hear your religious bullshit. Time to get a list! Haha. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Ghoul, you got wasted. I went cheetah paw on that shit. No way! I've received news that you've cleared out the Firewine Bridge ruins. No longer will the Kobolds plague our tiny village. I must congratulate you on a job well done. Everyone is grateful for your help. Take the small amount of money as a show of our gratitude. Wait a minute, where's my experience? You look like a man. Five, what do we got? Ten, fifteen thousand before we hit our thief level nine? Shit. Well, let's get there, son. I think it's about that time, folks. About that time to hit up old Baldur's Gate. You got the low wings of motor running now! Check out some I of these other half the homes. <laughs> Uh, plus one sling. No thanks. Can't carry it. Just like Hiroshima. The fucking thing. Chase me all the way here. Get the hell out of my face. The game hoarder, bitch. Just like Hiroshima. Get the low wings of motor running now. Well, 
hell, I can't Just do anything to here. Get <laughs> Anyways, there's nothing of value here. I'm gonna head back to High Hedge to sell. Way laid by enemies and must defend you. Just like Hiroshima, time to get laced. <laughs> And then it's time to enter Baldur's Gate. You got the low wings of motor running now. I'm just gonna pay to identify the ship. Ah. It'll cost me 300 and I'll make plenty more. There, for the cost of the sword, or the robes. Mail of the dead. Nope, nope, don't need it. Don't want it. I found out we won't be needing the star f sapphire or the tear necklace, so I'm gonna sell those. Oh, I got four of them. Boom, boom. Boom! A uh, diamond I know that coming useful later. I'll hang on to that. Maybe in Baldur's Gate 2 I'm thinking of, but whatever. I got enough money, it's cool. 111,000 gizod. Yeah, sell those too, because I got an extra pair. I'm wearing them. Alright, so, with 115,000 gold, we trudge on towards Baldur's Gate. We're the victor for now. You got the low wings of motor running now. Time to get laced. <laughs> The entrance tax is six gold piece for each party of travelers. Please announce your point of origin. I am from Candlekeep. You have to wait here. My commander wishes to have a word with you. Citizens, please step forward. First off, let me introduce myself. I'm Scar, second in command of the Flaming Fist. Though it's not necessary for you to reveal your names, please answer me this. Are you the group that's involved in the fiasco at the Nashville Mines? Yes, it was me, and me alone. I have to say, you've made quite the commotion up here in Baldur's Gate. I can't really put my finger on a single source, but there have been many strange happenings going on within the city. It's been getting harder and harder for me to put trust in someone. I need outsiders to do some investigations. People with no connections to anyone within the city. Would you be interested in working for me in such a capacity? Yes, Low Wing is interested. In gold and experience, too. Alright then. What I'm about to tell you must be held in the strictest confidence. Do you understand? I need you to begin an investigation of the Seven Suns trading coaster. The Seven Sun leadership has been acting strangely of late. They've been selling off valuable assets and neglecting many of their more profitable trading ventures. Considering their importance 
with the trading coasters hold over the economy of the city, the Grand Dukes are noticeably upset. I've gone and talked to the coaster's head, Jossa. He rudely rebuffed me, telling me some to mind my own business. I've known Jossa for many years, and this isn't his usual behavior. I can't start up an official investigation as there's no real reason for doing so. That's why I need you. No Wang is ready to go for it. But there's something you need to know first. I think the Iron Throne may be behind recent events at along the coast. At the mines of Nashkel and at Cloakwood, I learned much about the goals and methods of the Iron Throne. It does not bode well for the future of this region. Well, this is shrewd new light on things. There's nothing I can really do about it now. I'll make sure to look into it. I want you to break into the Seven Sons compound and find out what's wrong. Use stealth in your investigations. I don't want this operation to cause too much fuss. The most important person to watch for is Jossa. Once you've found out as much as possible, report back to me at the Flaming Pit Fist compound. I'll pay you 2,000 gold for this favor. The estate is located on the southwest side of town. I wish all of you the best of luck. Remember, once you've done at the Seven Sun Estate, it's imperative that you meet me at the Flaming Fist Barracks, which is just off the west of the Seven Suns. Ooh, want this some way. Alright folks, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Baldur's Gate as we enter into the city, finally. Soon to come.